Morning in the Roadshow Kitchen. How great is this going to be? Chef Teddy Paul from Richardson's Kitchen and Bar joins us from my hometown of Warren, even though they've asked me not to say that publicly. Nice yeah, to see you. Okay for a shout out. How you doing? I am great. A nice uh, treat to have you with us today making, and I, I hope I'm correct on this, pulled pork shepherd's pie. That is absolutely you know right. That, my mouth is watering already, my friend. It's, <laughs> honestly, it's a go-to dish. It's great for the season. Yeah. Take us through some of the ingredients if you could. If you could do yeah, that. absolutely. I, as I like to say, let's stroll down ingredient lane. Sweet. Well, this is kind of like everything you would possibly need. So this recipe is super versatile, but for what we're making here, we start off, we've got shallots, garlic, um, mashed potatoes, those start off as regular potatoes here, corn, uh, pulled pork, which starts off as a pork loin, and then just some various seasonings, chili powder, garlic powder. Uh, I, of course, love shepherd's pie. I love pulled pork. The fact that you're combining them, if I do say so myself, is what I like to call a stroke of genius, my friend. It's, you take two great things and put them together, you can't really get wrong. Um, let's talk about your location in Warren, of course. I joke all the time about how it's my hometown. I'm very proud to be from there, but a, a really exploding culinary scene, and you guys are right in the thick of things. Yeah, we're right at the top of Child Street, uh, 15 Child Street in Warren, and like you said, in the past few years, the food scene in Warren has just blown up. There's great restaurants around every corner and super proud to be one of them. Absolutely, and the actual location is where? 15 Child Street. Very so, good. Uh, just at the corner of Market and Child. I feel like you just said Main that. Street. <laughs> no worries. Uh, and these guys, of course, you are our roadie deal of the day. Two uh, $25 vouchers for 25 bucks. So that's a pretty good value right Absolutely. there. And is this something that's regularly on the menu? Yes, this is actually one of the best sellers for this season's menu. Wow. Um, I mean, cold weather and shepherd's pie, you can't really mess that up. They are a match made in roadshow heaven. Absolutely. Great to have you here, my Thank friend. We much. can't wait to watch you with this right here this morning. Oh, it's yes, be great. it's pulled pork shepherd's pie. RoadyDeals.com to grab one of those aforementioned deals. Of course, this is the man, Chef Teddy Paul from Richardson's Kitchen and Bar. Back to you. Now, Michaela, oh man, I cannot wait to try that pulled pork shepherd's pie. Yeah, what a fun twist on a classic dish that's with Richardson's Kitchen and Bar. They are a roadie deal of the day, and I just heard that we have less than 10 available, so go to roadiedeals.com and take advantage of that. But Chef Edward has been uh, taking over the stovetop here. I know you got the oven on, a little oh, of yeah. everything. I like this dish because it looks like um, something that you can do with leftovers. Absolutely. So it's a really versatile dish. The reason I have so much stuff out right now is because the setup is actually like every stage of prep. So okay. here's raw ingredients. This is finished products like mm -hmm. the shallot gravy that's in the recipe. Uh, some of the pulled pork. We've got um, roasted garlic mashed potatoes. Yum. Um, all of these things substitutable for basically anything you have at home. All so right. as it's potato some gravy and some kind of meat. Mm -hmm. But um, what I was actually just going to start doing was getting some of the grilled corn and yeah. grilled shallots going. Okay. Oh, you're so. Okay. We're going to grill the shallots. All yes, right. Absolutely. I mean, you normally I would roast them at the oven or mm -hmm. at the restaurant, but um, here you guys have a great flat top, which works as well. Yeah. Like I said, it's a versatile recipe. So. And I like the taste of things being grilled, kind of getting a bit of that char flavor exactly. on them. It's, it's really a depth of flavor and it makes the recipe that much better. So I you're mean, seasoning the corn here, just very simple. Just light, salt and pepper, mm -hmm. and then you can just roll it around in okay. the oil, salt and pepper, and then I'm just gonna throw these oh, yeah, we'll right get onto that this flat there. top here. Do and we need actually, to dress the shallots before that? We're actually go on? gonna do the same thing with those as well. Okay. I'm gonna hit these with some oil. It's actually got a bigger bowl back here. Well, they really don't need much because yeah. so many other elements have those great flavors. Exactly. Them. Just enough to kind of, because you really want that browning mm -hmm. on the shallots as well as the corn. So the oil kind of helps get that on there. Yeah. It's sort of a catalyst for the heat. And notice that pink Himalayan sea salt. Yes. The popular one. It's a favorite of mine. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Um, We're going to dump those on there. Well, listen, we got that sizzle going, and like I said, we've got something in every pot and pan at this point. We are well on our way to assembling this dish. It's an easy step. one that you can make at home. Get the recipe online. We'll come back and finish things up. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning with Richardson's Kitchen and Bar. They were our roadie deal of the day. I say were because they sold out. Way to go! Thank you. For Super good excited reason, about too, that. because they serve up some great food like the dish that you're making today. Yes. A great take on a classic. Absolutely. Shepherd's pie I with agree. pulled pork. So what we're going to do now is assemble one of these. Okay. And while I throw this together, if I could run by a couple deals that we have at the restaurant right now. Please that do, That would be yeah. awesome. So we're starting off, going to line the bottom of this with some of these roasted garlic mashed potatoes. Mm, which looks so creamy. And shortly after, can I just reach? Sure, right what do you here? need? 
and grab a fork. My tongs seem to have disappeared. So some of this pulled pork, I've got simmering and a little bit of that gravy. Oh yeah. Which goes right into the bottom. That's a roasted shallot gravy. It's got bay leaves, thyme, rosemary in there. Yeah. A little bit of veg stock, so that's a vegetarian friendly Look gravy. At that. Um, so Tuesday Beautiful. nights at the restaurant, we actually have like four different menus running right now. Mm -hmm. Tuesday nights we do a pasta night. We have a whole pasta menu. Uh, Ten dollars gives you a pasta dish and a side salad. Yum. Um, Wednesday nights we do ten dollar burger night, and we have a whole menu of burger options. Um, there's fish on there as well, vegetarian burger. Mm -hmm. um, that comes with a domestic beer, and that right. is also ten dollars. Burger and beer, ten bucks. Yes, Wednesday nights. Fantastic. Thursday, we have an a la carte taco menu, Taco Thursdays, oh, which that's is super fun. fun. Um, I love a good taco before night. Before I get ahead of myself, we just uh, hit that mashed potato with a little bit of the pulled pork. Mm -hmm. um, some of the grilled corn we were doing earlier, that just got cut off the cob. Yeah, and, and we then, were saying that's a small step that you can take with corn, but it will provide yeah, you, this extra you flavor. you totally don't need to do it. You can season it however you want. Mm -hmm. You could just cut it off the cob raw, toss it in seasoning, saute it, however you want to do it. But um, I like the depth of flavor you get from a little browning Me on the too, corn. Me too, yeah. Um, so yeah, lastly, we've got the Thursday night taco deal, mm -hmm. um, a la carte taco menu, and then uh, Friday through Saturday, we're just running regular menu. I mean, we have the regular menu all week, so you can get yeah. this whenever. Um, but we just do um, specials by the week, depending on what's fresh, what we've got, mm -hmm. and we're just topping this with some cheddar curd. Yeah, that's not globs of butter. The, that is cheese curds, and, and they uh, look so good. We leave them in till they get nice and brown on right. top. So we'll let those go for a couple minutes. Let's yes. talk about some of those other menu items. I know Absolutely. certain nights are specialty things that you said. Um, cheese curds also on yep. the menu? Yep, we do those mm -hmm. same cheese curds in a nice beer batter. We oh, deep fry oh. them, serve them with a couple dipping sauces, and they are phenomenal. They're oh like tiny gosh. little mozzarella stick bites. Yeah, um, little bites of heaven. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, we have it. <laughs> Basically through the winter, it's it's a lot of this. It's a lot of comfort food, oh, a lot of just soul warming, just whatever's mm -hmm. gonna you know. It's not the healthiest. Some of it is, but yeah. um, but well, we definitely you have those. A lot of, you know, even just like vegetarian burgers yep. and different different options depending on your diet. What fish, absolutely. burgers, meats, things like yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. I'm actually a vegetarian myself, so I do oh. try and include some uh, options in there as well. So That's we do a lot nice. of meat, but I do like. Um, We've got a veggie burger on the menu, uh -huh. as well as um, a falafel burger that we do, which is um, right. basically like a hummus that's beer battered and fried. You could probably even make this a version of that instead of the uh, the pulled pork. Absolutely. Pork mushrooms, like for myself, like I'd probably throw some black beans and broccoli in there instead okay. of the pork. But um, yeah, that's what I like about a shepherd's pie. It's as long as you got some of the basics going on. Yep. Layer them however you yeah, feel. You really vegetable of choice. Can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. It's it's a great dish. Um, I'm going to see how this last okay. guy is oh doing. Gosh, looks, looks like so the cheese is and melted. And we need a uh, yes. oven mitt for you. Perfect. Thank you. We're going to get that out. Wow. Nothing like hot, melty cheese mm -hmm. to put you in a good mood, right? During a winter day. Absolutely. If I can get We're a hand on it. We're going to pull that out. All right. So that's right oh, there. It's got a little my. bit of golden color on the cheese curds. They're mm -hmm. not too multi and falling apart. And then the last thing we do here is that I'm just going to reach great. across you. Finish that with some and of more this gravy. gravy. So this goes right over the top. This and this not stuff smells disappoint. so good. Got wow. some thyme sprigs and rosemary in there. So i got to yep. avoid those. But that goes right over the top. Mouths are definitely watering. And wouldn't touch that because that is super hot. Screaming super hot. But for it. good reason because we wanted everything nice and melty. Or even I noticed the top of the potatoes getting a little bit of golden They get nice and crispy. Color. So when you put the spoon through, mm -hmm. you get the stretchy cheese, nice crust on the potatoes. Oh, and man. it's just layers of flavor. It's, it's ridiculous. It I, is ridiculous. Ridiculously good. It looks awesome. Thank you so much for, thank you for having whipping me. up a storm. He that took over today, but you can make this recipe yourself. It's up at roadshow.com. Enjoy.